In this video, I'm going to be showing you how SEO testing is the factor that separates beginner SEOs from the best of the best. And what I'm talking about here is testing different SEO tactics in a controlled live environment to figure out if they work or not. Then I'm going to show you how to set up your own accurate SEO tests. And make sure to stick around for the end because I'm going to be sharing where to find three new SEO test results that are fresh out of the oven. Now, if you like this kind of content, make sure to smash that like button below to let me know that you're into it so I can produce more of it for you. Cool, let's move on. I want to first start talking about why SEO testing is so impactful. Reason number one is that SEO testing allows you to learn about SEO tactics before anyone else and before Google actually nerfs it. When new strategies and tactics come out, this is when they work best. Reason number two, SEO testing is the only source of information you can trust. SEO is hard, and even though there's a lot of people giving out information, where did they actually get these strategies from? Did they actually test them scientifically, or did they just invent them in their head using Guessio? Reason number three, SEO testing makes you algorithm proof. You're able to spot trends before they're officially announced. And reason number four, and this is probably the most important one, you're able to get a ranking system that actually works. Because your SEO results are based on testing on live websites, you can be sure that these tactics are going to work on your real money sites or your client sites as well. Now before I get into how to perform SEO testing, you have three main challenges that you need to overcome. With any scientific test, you need to make sure that you have stable variables. What does this mean? If you wanted to test if a new backlink technique works, what you would need to do is apply that technique to a website and make sure nothing else happens to that website in the meantime in order for you to figure out if it worked or not. Otherwise, how would you know what's working? The problem is that random signals are happening all the time in SEO. People are building backlinks, your competitors are building content, you get a backlink, all sorts of randomness is happening all the time and this is a challenge. Another challenge you're gonna face is that in order to set up an SEO test is you need to make an experimental group. This is a group that you apply your new stimulus to and then you have your control group. This is a group that nothing happens to, so you have something to compare against. And these two groups need to be the same. The challenge with that is that Google has a problem with duplicate content. So if you made these two groups exactly the same, one of them is gonna rank and one of them will have no chance because that's considered to be the duplicate. Your next challenge is you need to account for a random ranking factor. Let's say you started five websites at the same time. Three of them are gonna do okay, one of them is gonna do amazing, and the other one's just gonna be straight up terrible. There's a randomness in the algorithm that plays havoc on SEO testing. So what's the solution to all these challenges? You need large test groups. You need 50 pages or 50 sites in the control group. You need 50 pages and 50 sites in the experimental group. Random signals are always gonna happen in SEO, but if a random signal happens to one of 50 websites, that's not a big deal. It's gonna get averaged in and nullified. You unfortunately can't have identical websites testing against each other, but you can have 50 sites in a control group and 50 sites in the experimental group that are all similar enough to where their averages approach sameness. And then lastly, the random ranking factor gets nullified as it too gets averaged out. So now that you know how SEO testing works, let's see it in action. I left a link in the description to a full post of this article. Jump down in the section about my SEO testing results to find three experiments that yielded some awesome results. 